In this video, we'll be creating a stair diagram using the stair design module. Bring up the design form by clicking the function button at the bottom of the screen. This will display the stair design form that has seven steps to complete. In step one, determine the perspective of the stair diagram. This diagram will have a right perspective. Click next to go to step two. The second step contains four different features about your diagram. The first feature is the number of steps you require. In this case, we'll choose four. You can draw lateral lines on the diagram. You can choose whether to include labels and decide the method by which you'll enter the values for the steps. Here we'll enter the total rise and total tread values. Click next to continue. Since we chose to enter the total rise and total tread, We'll enter those values of 600 and 900 millimeters and click next. In step four, select the type of rails to insert on your diagram. There are four options for a far side rail and two options for a near side rail. For this diagram, we'll select a far side rail attached to a wall and a freestanding near side rail. Click next to continue. Now we need to enter the values for these rails. For the far side rail, we'll have a bottom lead in of 300, bottom tread of 300, and a top lead in of 300 only. The rail height will be 900 millimeters high. Click next to enter the values for the near side rail. For this rail, we'll keep the bottom tread at 300, but make the top have a lead in of 300 rather than a tread. The height will remain at 900 millimeters. Click next to continue. The final step asks us to confirm the values and click the draw stairs button. Our stair diagram has now been inserted with all the values and features that were selected.